Hi, if you'd like to come on and have a seat for some symbolic support and gratitude to our muse, Lenore, here is your inkblot made in your name and essence and respect and reciprocity for all that you do for the collective. Gratitude galore for being you. So Lenore, here is your ink plot. Feel free to take a screenshot so you can scry on your own time and terms for shapes and symbols that speak to your psyche and psychic senses, of course. We'll add on tarot and oracle. And as well, we have ghost tube here, kick and fighting audio editions that may inspire or irritate. Receive or release freely, of course. I'm Steph. Thank you so much for being my muse, for holding space for me to share my insights and allowing me to be a guest in your aura. I'm going to take a moment to open up here. You're welcome to join me or fast forward through. Closing the eyes, taking Lenore. a cleansing breath. Yep, we're here for Lenore. Cleansing the palate of perception, releasing the race and the rush. Activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support. Lenore, once again, in grace and gratitude, thank you for all that you do. Specific to the Capricorns, though. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so... Uh, okay, so I'm hearing a song, I think it's from like the 50s or 60s, and it's helping me uh, connect to, because I, I see you as like Little Red Riding Hood, and I don't know if you've been through something, or maybe there's just a certain air about your aura in general, they have to really pay attention, and I feel like, is, I don't even know if it's the big bad wolf, but even let's just say, there's uh, another fairy tale of sorts, another character like the big bad wolf, and he actually works and serves serves to support you for protection, but I'm hearing that song, hey there little red riding hood, you sure are looking good. <laughs> It carries on. Maybe it's just me. Anywho, excuse the singing. So it feels as though like you're this red, red passion, UFO. love mission. And there's, uh, there's other characters that from other stories that really take pride in protecting you. So that's, I don't know how it is. It's just how it feels. And while there might be like one, one wolf, I don't even know necessarily, I can't remember the characters in Little Red Riding Hood. But you have others that come out in the forest to protect and serve you for your essence of what you're doing or whatever it is that you're, okay, growing into as well. So, yeah, because I'm also getting like Queen of Hearts vibes, but not the Queen of Hearts like in the off with our head. And maybe you can have that, you know, frustration sometimes, but I feel like there's, it's more of a, a heart expanding and I feel very passionate. And I also feel a little spicy in your aura. Like, I'm pretty subdued. I feel like I'm pretty subdued. But then I got a spice. I got a spice. Anyhow. Okay. So I'm going to dig in here. So I'm seeing like purple boxing gloves. <laughs> but they're not. Okay. They're not actually boxing gloves. Sorry. They are mittens. Purple mittens. I don't know if you are also like a hands-on healer. Greetings. Or greetings. Or a master manifester. Or something along that lines. And working with it. I don't know if the lighting will allow it to come through. See how there's all this white here? And then up here. Sometimes I feel like I have to turn off my inner hearing because I can hear hurt. That's what it makes me feel like. I can hear hurt. And it, it can be hard sometimes to hear that. Or I've recently been in a situation where there's a lot of hurt going on. It's like... Um, like wandering into, you know, some people might go to a concert or something like that. Not me per se, but you know, generally people would go to where there's a crowd and there's a certain amount of preparation to prepare for that in some way, shape or form. And then there might be something else that's more casual, Pisces. like farmer's market or going to, to a fair. There's a, something leisurely about it. And then it's like wandering into maybe a somber situation where, you know, there's going to be a lot of hurt or there's mourning going on there. That's what it feels like. And it's like, I don't want to cover my ears. That's not what it's about. But there is something that is a uh, inherently like a mitten in the weather, right? Like you're just protecting uh, the surface, the surface. Interesting. Okay. I'm kind of like, see right up here, I'm seeing like two eyes. It's almost like an R2D2. I feel like I'm very smart. It's, it's almost making me feel like, hmm, 
you know, is it, is it R2D2? I'm not even hundred percent sure that I know is very helpful, but in, in this, like R2D2 moves differently, um, speaks a different language, but then has this like ability for holograms and whatnot. And I feel like that's something within you that you can just inherently help. So I don't know if you have helping hands per se, um, well, I suppose in the tea leaf readings as well, right? It's a lot of handwork. Um, yeah. Okay. But it just, it feels, sorry. it feels like I'm, I'm talking a language that's super helpful, but I'm not aggressive. Do you know what I mean? Hmm. It's, it's like a healthy, my, my ego is healthy. And I don't know if it, at some point in time Only for or you. what's going on or what has gone on, it feels like, oh yeah, it's because I have a healthy ego. Like I don't let a whole lot bother me that I feel is from a lower vibe and that's not being judgmental. It's just how it feels. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera. Okay. So I'm seeing mountain cliffs up here as well. So I'm going to like dig right in here. There's some sort of exchange happening. There's some sort of exchange. Uh, it's ha You have a lot of ancestors that generate energy and send it down in, into the density. Download, if I may. Um, Okay, and something about when you're feeling angry or frustrated, they uh, are trying to, to it, it's like working through something, but I'm seeing it, uh, I, what is this, how do I say that? I, I don't know what culture it's from, I feel like it's from a different culture, like almost like maybe like a Eurasia or something like that. And they're like sitting on the ground and they're able to do something really, Device. really fast. So I can't see what they're doing because they're doing it so fast. It's almost like if somebody could like, I'm not even sure this is the right word, like chuck clams or something like that. And they could just like, poof, 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 poof. And they can do it so fast. I don't even know what they're doing, but this feels very ancestral oriented. Yeah. And they, uh, or maybe it's, Okay, so I'm seeing it at like a D battery as well, like plugged in. You know, some people, for for whatever reason, in that power of the forehead, some people might have a AAA battery, a AA battery. I don't know if it's a C or a D battery, and I don't even think that's correct either. Okay, it's not the point. It brought me into, it's like an actual plug. Plug. There's something about grounding in, grounding in. Uh, you know how like the plugs would have like two prongs and then they added the third as a grounding? something along that lines I'm I'm hearing like I'm I'm giving it a giving it a go or Yeah, I'm going to say that giving it a go. I don't know how else to say that. I don't know if there's there's been a, a a time or something yeah dream coming through sorry if my fingers are in the way giving my dream a go life can be a dream come true and that's funny because when I was creating your ink blot I heard two songs life can be a dream a sweetheart and I do do Dreaming of a white do do Christmas. Okay, there's also something like a Betty Boop or something that was coming through with like red lips. Like the I don't know, the fifties and sixties seem to be really coming through. So I'm giving it a go. Something about something about my dream. I'm saying mine, but 31. being a, being a guest in your aura, but of course, receiver release freely. I appreciate the space to explore. Absolutely. And expand consciousness, connect, Please. collaborate. Yeah. Okay. See, I, if you look like way deep in here, 
So in what be could be perceived as the void or the womb of creation, right? And there's a white shadow. It could be a gentleman in spirit. I don't know if it's a male. But I'm kind of getting interesting. Is it Poseidon? No. I'm getting Poseidon vibes. Absolutely. Like think like Little Mermaid. Do you like Disney movies? I know I do. Lenore. Get your paranormal poker hand out here if there's anything more from Lenore coming through. Yeah. I will show you that in two moments, Lenore. There's whispers like that. It's like making making a wish or like a make-a-wish foundation, or I might be part of something. But this gentleman in spirit kind of comes through. I don't know if it's a dad or an uncle or a grandfather. But he comes through in water. That's how I'm seeing it in water. Okay, so the way I'm seeing it is, it's like, you know when you're laying in a bathtub or underwater in a pool, but you're on your back and you and you sink under the water, and then you can open your eyes underwater, but you're, but you're looking up. That, I, that's what I'm seeing. So I don't know if it's the way you see things or the way you see spirit. And then I'm also like looking up at the, looking up at the stars. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Humiliate. How I wonder what you are. Mm. Is something happened possibly in the past as well? I'm seeing a scorpion cancer. So like Scorpio cancer bridge mix. But I'm back here as well. And I'm seeing something being controlled. Almost like in a, a transformer. Mm-hmm. It feels like a gentleman. It feels like a gentleman in spirit. The the ladies up here in this sacred mountain, because it's giving me like monk vibes or like faith vibes. Faith family vibes. Oh, okay, so it's your tribe up there. Very feminine oriented and see how they're right, and I want to plop that card right in there. Tribe. Find your people. But you already have people in, in spirit that you know are your people or they protect you. Because you are a part of their dream. And they want your dream to come true. Something about the purity of intention. Also that came through, yeah, uh, was Dragonfly. There is a deeper meaning. Victorious. It's good to ask for help. And then magic, you are blessed. Okay, see, even all this red here, the red lips, the red riding hood, I kind of want to plop this card, like this shot specifically, right in that plug, right there. Who's that robot from the Jetsons? The robot maid? What's her name? I can't remember. It's not the I feel like you do a lot. Like you can get a lot done. Interesting. But it's kind of like you make it look easy or very smooth like R2-D2. It's like the male and female robot. I don't, I don't know what robots mean or maybe you, have, you like robots or uh, you work with the metal element really, really well. I don't know, but it's very curious like Judy Jetson. And then I'm like, I'm free as a bird, like with these, these whispers and the wishes. Like I can, I feel like I can see myself outside in the snow. There's something about Fear. white snow and, and red. I don't know if it's, um, you know, blood or Christmas, passion, love. It's all the things. It's all the things. Hmm. But it feels like Snow White, like pure, pure snow. But I feel like I've been purifying something, something else first, or I've been through something that obviously you were victorious in. Like, I don't know if somebody tried to, 
or there was an element of a year of your life or 12 years or when you were 12 years old and something had happened where I don't know if somebody like ceremonially tried to take your to take your purity or uh, your power and I kind of feel like I'm saying this in a very magical way but maybe it expressed itself mundanely or people uh, you know it's by growing up at that time where you know the less than kind you know the typical teenage years But it's like somehow I was able to to, to find my way because I always knew my way. Every, well, whoever maybe these people were in the past uh, or um, whatever the case is, they were distracting me from it. They were distracting me from it because my power is powerful. And you always knew there was a deeper meaning to this. Marilyn. See, and even in the dragonfly, the, uh, and that symbol might mean something to you. And now these creatures are are serving you. With you, with you, with you. Okay, I'm going to keep going here. So when I see this gentleman kind of coming through, it, it feels like, you know, like the little mermaid. But Ariel, you're the, the daughter of, is it even Poseidon? I don't even know. And, but she's like, I want to go on this journey, you know, to find my love. And it's, inevitably it works out. And then when I wander down here, I get into that Scorpio kind of cancer feel. Like it's a half scorpion, half cancer. And the pinchers feel like it's um, like out of Rich. love. Hmm. Lenore. I'm seeing little dragons in here. Little dragons. They're fun. Oh, they could even be dragonflies, but I'm seeing them as dragons first. That happened to fly. Oh, and then I'm also seeing so like some fierce, like medieval stuff coming through here. And also the Cerebus from Hades. Yeah, no messing around. No messing around. See, it's like you have both here. You have like the Cerebus of Hades, and then you have these wonderful, like whimsical Puff the Magic Dragons. Like this is truly harmony. It's like taking, if I may, the the dark fairy tale or the evil queen, you know, the maleficence of whatnot, that imagery, and then the Snow White or the Cinderella, whatever the case may be, and overlaying them. It's like sorcery is sweet. And sweetness is sorcery. Hiding. And with that, you're able to see things that hide in the shadows when you also work in the shadows. Does that make sense? I feel like it makes sense. But I don't know if something is like pinching about money or with, again, with all this uh, yellow. So it could be in your heart ray, in your heart center as well with your solar plexus. If there is um, some overbearingness in the past or you just, yeah, five of pentacles. There might have been something that that pinched, you know. But inevitably, I'm weak. At that moment, wherever that may be, physical, mental, spiritual, emotional, that kind of good stuff. It felt like I was moving through blind, but I, I, know, I want to come back up here. It's like I, I know I wasn't, but I, I had to move through it. Mm. it's like uh, you know when you might I'm seeing fences like strings for whatever reason this is coming through and it doesn't need to make sense for me but thank you again it's like I'm walking around and there's strings you know that game we used to play or when you're kids and then you go in and then you have the strings and then you have the strings. There is some sort of configuration of seeing fences like strings. Because it was I was learning something about actually about somebody else. That's what that makes me feel like. I was learning something about somebody else. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna flip it here. Can See you it? feel me? I think there's somebody in spirit that consistently here. sorry want you that is here okay absolutely we're here for Lenore 
and wants to know if you do feel them, if you do sense them. Okay, and if you see, sense, or feel anything, please feel well to comment below as uh, to inspire our interconnected nature. Seeing wallflower, I'm wallflower, and I'm hearing the song Wallflower One Headlight. One Headlight. Look at there's more of those dragons up there. I meant it. Okay, what's going on in here? Sorry, give me one moment. I need to might need to bring her down. Give me a second here. Let me get my scry out. <laughs> I need to see what's going on in here. Okay, so I'm seeing a scene. Where there is an energy that is trying to to lift and push me up while dealing with this. I feel like this is a part of me in your Lenore. And someone's like, no, you go, you go, you go, you go, you go. Or it's like holding me away. So, but I'm dealing with something here. It feels like a puzzle piece of my past, maybe even something to do with a fear because I'm seeing it as a rabbit. Okay, so I'm also seeing like a, a, okay, so the ink is transforming on me like these are like the witch's nose. Like think of like the old like witchy words, <laughs> like the witchy words. But they're kind of like, a, so I'm not judging on the way one might immediately perceive them. It's kind of like hocus pocus, you know what I mean? Like something along that lines. But they also have horns. They have a horn, a horn. Jesse. And they have, uh, blonde hair. Blonde hair. I don't know if blonde haired people are around you or something about blonde haired people. There is something that I'm seeing. Anyway, it's like imagine seeing a person, maybe they have blonde hair and that's just the color of their hair, but that's the attribute that's standing out. And they look one way, but it's like you can, they maybe they take a mask off or put a mask on and, and you know you see them differently. I'm seeing my a heart Louder. chakra, my heart chakra and my pink ray. Uh, sniff things out. Not in a paranoid state. Again, it's in, uh, it's just like uh, one piece of them out doing what they do. It's like dogs like l liking to hunt or smell, learning skills. Also, maybe maybe your heart is uh, really heightening on clear or clear smelling. I can never remember which clear sentient it is, but uh, clear smelling. Because even when I sat down for your scry session, I was smelling something sweet. Like I feel like you have a sweet smelling aura I that doesn't I do not mean to have that sound so creepy <laughs> but that might attract a certain kind of person or other energies what were these cards here strength and page of swords I don't know if you journal it's like knowledge freed me Something I read sparked something in me and it took me out of maybe what somebody else had in mind for me. Yeah, it feels, again, that super uber protectiveness. You you go over here, I'm, even though I feel like I can be feisty, <laughs> it's no, no, no. This isn't a different context. This isn't about ego or anything or what might be happening on the mundane. And then way, way, way deep in here, see that? It's like I'm seeing a... I'm going to say it's a, it, it's a ghost with sunglasses on. Like it's a pretty cool dude. It's a pretty cool dude. Absolutely. 
Okay, I'm coming down here. Something about Santa Claus. I don't know if like you and your partner are like Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus. <laughs> Just like a story. I feel like it's about a story. Very giving. Very, very giving. And I see I see money around. Money. Um silver and gold silver and gold I don't know if your success and whatever that is it doesn't have to be financially because I also see people leaving trinkets it could also be spirit leaving trinkets for you in gratitude in honor in reciprocity now spirit could be working through uh, again those elemental kind of energies that come through and to leave you little things like maybe you find them on your lawn or they're in the garden or around your house be quiet and then there's other times where yeah i it's almost like i don't want to say it out loud because even like if you are resonating with this that you're like mm, don't say it don't say it because then they know i know but also okay so i won't Yep. And then there's also spirit in the sense of somebody who's still alive in the after, you know, not in the afterlife and they're in the animated or and they're willing to give back to you, you know, wanting to gifts, they're gifts, trinkets. And it's all, all down here. But I feel like sometimes it might just. I feel like I want to tell you like a, you, above and beyond, above and beyond. There's something so blissful and peaceful. I'm seeing uh, in, again, I don't know if the lighting allows it cut right here. So I don't know what kind of animal it is. If it's a bull or a ram or a goat or an ox. Needless to say, sorry, needless to say the way I see it is this is like Okay, so there is like a big goat in here. There's the two eyes and the ears like down. And these might be the, the little goat horns. And here's the nose, right? So this, ver whatever goat may mean to you. Mm, okay, yep. And, oh yeah, there's the goat in the strength as well. Maybe it's a lamb. Yes. Mm-hmm. See how it's infused with the light? And then over here, whatever this spirit animal is or spirit essence, because I feel like there's a way I can project energy out. Because the way I'm seeing it is, like say you're at the grocery store or something like that, grocery store, I don't know why I said that way. And I have this ability, it seems like, almost on command to... Okay, so it's like the Wizard of Oz when you see when he presents like this big head. Like, I am the Wizard of Oz. And then there's the man behind the curtain. And they can switch. So it's like being able to project out this energy. Lamb, lion, uh, goat. Maybe it is. Maybe that is in your sign. If you have Capricorn vibes or Taurus. Uh, I, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Anything along that lines. I can call it back in really, really quickly. Really, really quickly. Yeah, see even how she... Okay, like look at the coloring of this card. And if anything in the artistry inspires you, please follow your intuition. Have we met? But see like the red and then the leaf, the coloring. I want to plop it like that. Uh, you might have a child as well. I see it again. It's like that little mermaid Poseidon kind of feel. Like mother and daughter or mother and child. Maybe very empathic in nature. Hmm. Yeah. House of Flowers. Sorry. I feel like, again, it's like that sweet smell. Oh, sunny day is on the bottom. It's like that sweet smell around you, like just floral. Floral, but sweet. I don't know if there's a young male or masculine energy that has passed around you, like a little boy or uh, an older gentleman that has a playful vibe. I don't know. There's something about a little boy.
Hmm. Sorry, I got distracted there. And this is like the empath energy. The morning dew girl. Like I feel, now this might be you when you were young. It's almost like if I may, it's like being a child. The mother maiden crone, father, son, holy spirit is the three, three elements. And it's coming in as a rose garden because roses need a particular kind of I'm not going to say fussiness, but they do need a, a particular kind of home. Uh, they need to be pruned a certain way. They need different nourishments to truly shine, to truly bloom at their best. And I feel like you are a rose. I don't know. Every rose has its thorn. I feel like people are coming to see you a lot for this. There's something natural about you and there's something natural about your ability that feels organic quite specifically organic in the way that you speak organic in the way that you <coughs> reach out i don't know if people actually come to your house where are you hmm. they might be wanting to ask or trying to find out i, I don't i, I kind of wander into that masculine energy of no thank you there's certain boundaries need again because it's something about the environment to be nourishing and for it to ma uh, maintain a sust and sustain its organic nature does that make sense okay so now i'm also seeing like um i'm gonna say like mad scientist stuff but not mad scientist in a bad way just uh what's alchemist alchemy alchemist alchemist and I have the those kind of glasses yes. on that you would think, like, who's the Frankenstein guy? Anyway, they're very specific glasses, like very, it's a black and white kind of movie. Uh, is, is his name Gene? Anywho. And I'm creating something. I'm creating something. There's a face here as well. See, there's that little boy. Yeah, I seem like a little boy. And when I do go to the other side, I see it as a little girl. Hmm. Okay, I got to bring it back down for a moment. Hold on. Because <laughs> I feel like I'm in either your masculine energy or masculine energy Above. around you. I'm seeing a candle. Thank you. That's it. I'm seeing a candle, but it's like I'm lighting it with some sort of a flint lighter. It's all very odd. Some sort of flint lighter from science. And there's this candle, candle magic or candle. And this energy, again, this feels very masculine energy. And then there's a little girl and or a little boy. Oh. I feel okay, so this masculine energy feel is very protective. Very protective. So, so there absolutely might be a little boy around or a little boy in spirit, but the way it just transformed on me, it's like seeing, um, one eye being mas little boy, masculine energy and one being little girl, masculine, like, and I have both my eyes to be able to see, uh, see some sort of innocence without being ignorant to threats. Right. So it's like. Mm. one child feminine blink twice and then it's like then I go to adulting and then three times and then I go to Follow me. energy do you know what I'm saying it's like this this blinking about something it's funny some sort of language and also like butterfly kisses are coming through butterfly kisses I sit in the center of this triangle that is in my below that I have created. I'm also seeing a palm tree about something. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm saving up for a vacation or going on vacation where somewhere where it's sunny. Mm, something about, okay, so it's not necessarily that it's sunny. It has high spirit vitality and will fill me, fill my solar plexus up is how I'm hearing it. And then when I come down, sorry, back in here, I'm like the bride of Frankenstein. That's what it feels like. I feel like the bride of Frankenstein and this is fantastic. It's very, very fun. 
and I am connected like my my that bloodline again and but it's like in the below so in the here and now and here it's so there's like the bride and then here's like the masculine something about a like red hot pepper or Angry. you know F- Frank's red hot or uh red hot chili peppers or something like that it's really quite lovely I really quite lovely if there's any remnants of some some sort of anger, because I'm never really sure what passion, protection, or you know, just strictly pissed off, and if it's within or without, but I feel as though I go fishing, because I'm seeing it very specifically as fishing, and I whether whether it's like a transcendental meditation or something. Uh, or just a curiosity of again seeing okay innocently like a kid with a stick and a string I'm going to go fishing what's ticking me off or what's trying to come back up from the past if there's an x or something along that lines and it's triggering me and something about like I'm not taking the bait not taking the bait but when I intentionally go in to get to the core of it yeah Oh my goodness. So remember how earlier on, I'm getting ready to close out your reading. So thank you so much again, Lenore, whether this all resonated or maybe simply inspired. Thank you for all the work that you do. Remember what I was singing? Every rose has its thorn. Hopefully I did, or maybe I didn't. And I just did in my head. Rose without thorn. And when I'm in here, Sunday, I don't know if this is the past I don't, maybe it's being worked through in the present, but the message is you have the right to your joy, peace, and sweetness of life. And you have like had this air of sweet, sweet sorceressness. It it reminds me of like, uh, you know, people would say like husband and wife or partners to be like, Hey hon, Hey babe. And I'm hearing like goddess, Hey goddess, Hey God, you know? Silver lining, relief, hope, mercy, it's over, acceptance, after the rain. Oh my goodness. This, your rose without thorns, it's like it's done. It's not even as large as Jack and the Beanstalk where somebody else can create, you know, climb the thorns to get to you. If anything's happened in the, whatever these hurts may be, whatever these things that have grieved and mourned and been buried, buried over. Okay, they're done. Rest in peace. But still that could tick, you know, take another energy off when you've closed out or you've disconnected. But this has been the silver lining the whole time. And here's all your silver lining. It's like seeing Rumpelstiltskin. You know how he makes the the straw into into gold? But I said it's no. like it's silver. And you take all that silver lining, the silver cord, and you get to make it a ball. And then this is, it's like gold. It's something about purity has also been through here. The second bloom, a second chance. It's never too late. New possibilities. And the child within, inner mother, innocence, gentleness, tenderness. Like, I feel as though you are in and of the essence. And sorry, the moon was here on the bottom. It's like, let's say you had like an evil stepmother. And they, they went with, um, they lead it with masculine energy. Do you know what I'm saying? So even though they were feminine, they led with masculine energy. Your child within has come through as something did happen. But then I'm also seeing it like... Um, is a person in the present with like a beard or something or goat a, a goatee oh a goat tea hilarious a goat tea oh my goodness okay so I feel as though when it comes to like the inner child which has also been coming through with the wonderful fairy tales and whatnot that innocence the gentleness the the purity is what, Stay with me. is what you you are giving in your second bloom. If maybe a relationship or a marriage or a, a resonance with your family didn't work out, 
you are moving forward. The second bloom. It's like it might, and I mean it like it might have been prominent. You know, what people might call the, the dark night of the soul or something along that lines. And it, you're, you're in after the rain. Yep, you're in after the rain. And now you have no thorns. Single rose. Is it Beauty and the Beast? A single rose. A single rose. Okay, Lenore, closing out your final poker hand here is Six of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, thank you. Where I saw like those witches, and now I'm hearing, I'm melting, I'm melting, I'm melting. They become balloons. They're full of hot air. <laughs> They're full of hot air. And you're just enjoying seeing, seeing your creation here your family, your family, what you've created, what you've created. Butterflies have also been a thing coming through in your readings. So now I'm coming down here to what could have been like anger, but I'm, I'm digging this. I want to say like this mad scientist inventor energy that's also around you because it feels peaceful. Like grandpa monster donate in the basement of, uh, you know, the monsters, like he's just trying to help the family and he does help the family, but he has this whimsical, calm about him there is this uh so anyway so i'm sorry the the big wing of the butterfly of whatever transformation you've gone through i want to place it like right actually i guess it would be technically on that side four of pentacles knight of wands and the ace of cups if these mean anything to you you know the drill please follow that first versus my hammerings but i'm always grateful for the space being held yes okay Very protective over my home. House of Flowers, Four of Pentacles. This is my private place. This is where I bloom. Knight of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Look at all that yellow, right? And that fire. It's like using the, the fire element to protect. And it's handed off to a knight who has the wand who carries that effortlessly, even though it's exchanged because there's a... It's like being... See how, okay, hold on a minute. Let's see if I can do this. It's like, the, whether it's the masculine and feminine uh, energies within oneself or expressed without in a partnership, creative, corporate, romantic, platonic, they are, they do things differently. Tunnel. They do things differently, but they're complementary. Does that make sense? It makes sense. Like there's shapes they might work with, the geometry they might work with. I see, I don't know. I just see stuff that you do like come out in like, Flower petals and butterflies. <laughs> Flower petals and butterflies. But I need to remain rooted and grounded in, uh, and also something about like washing the feet of honoring. And when I say like washing of the feet, it's in honor of where you've been. And, and like continuously washing that away. Not because it's like in a distaste, but reminding, reminding myself, honoring where I've been. It feels very respectful actually. Okay, Lenore. And last but not least, because I didn't realize I didn't take a full paranormal poker hand, your last and final card to enjoy is the rose thread. Inner call, soul led, the mystic living courageously. And this is what it feels like. I am strong. I'm strong in my passion. I'm strong where I feel led to. And I have trust and working towards what my ancestors from above, what my ancestors in the afterlife, my, in, you know, maybe other ancestors that are embodied here on earth that are in different, you know, meat suits and mindsets. There is power in that passion. And I, and I feel led like a candle, something I don't know if there's also like something that you do in regards, maybe you make candles uh, or candle magic. I don't know what it is, but it feels fantastic. And like you're outpouring what you offer, because I'm seeing it like the Aquarius star card. And no, I see thanks. it like just kind of pouring out when you do decide to pour out. And it's, how do I say? It's like filtered water. It's like filtered water, but in the spirit of. Lenore, thank you so much. I'm sorry if I yammered on way too long. And I hopefully I didn't take up too, too much of your time. I fully appreciate you. And until next time, gratitude galore.
best wishes. Much love.